You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. I'm driving a Bennett. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the A. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time. Appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. All right, we back with another Nukes Top 5, man. You already know what I need from you, man. I need you to draw with you in the chat, man. Let me know that you with me. You know what I'm saying? But look, we got uh, top 10 scary ghost videos to give you the bubble guts. Now, he done dropped 10 videos in one. Now, I don't know what's going on with that. Let's go ahead and get it. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. The Watcher. In Japan, an anonymous man travels to a remote area of the Japanese countryside in search of adventure. He says that he has read creepy stories online that talk about the location of an allegedly haunted house on this mountain. And he plans to find it. ちょっと今現在 Eventually, the lone explorer actually does find the old decaying house and makes his way inside. He immediately notices that someone has hung several paper talismans on the wall. In many Japanese religions, these talismans are believed to ward off evil spirits. <laughs> Something must have happened. They look like maggots. The house is a decaying wreck, and in one room there are hundreds of disgusting maggots crawling all over the floor. Hell the explorer no. smells a horrible odor coming from somewhere nearby and goes to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. His light went out? Did you see it? As he hurries out of the bathroom, a terrifying face can be seen staring directly at him through a window. The man has no idea what he has just recorded, but he gets an overwhelming feeling that he just needs to get out of there. So could it be that someone passed away inside the old home and their angry spirit never left? And just who or what is this? I leave it for you to decide. Shadow of Doubt. What? A family in California says that they have experienced many strange unexplained things since the day they moved into their new home. They've heard voices, lights turn on and off for no reason, and they frequently hear unexplained loud banging. So one night as the family husband and father lays watching TV in the bed, their CCTV camera picks up sudden motion and begins to record. Oh, when they review not. the footage, they are shocked. Hell no. What? It didn't even pick up that motion. A shadow-like figure seems to quickly dart out of the room. The family has no idea who or what this creepy dark figure could be. And whatever it was, 
it didn't even make a sound. To this day, the mysterious footage remains unexplained. The Lonely Road In Brazil, there is a seemingly quiet stretch of highway near the city of Campo Grande that some say is cursed. Despite the fact that this short section of Brazilian Highway 262 is a relatively quiet drive, many people have lost their lives in mysterious car crashes on this road. And even stranger, many of these crashes involved only one car. You see, for some unknown reason, the drivers simply lost control of their vehicle, veering off the road, or even flipping their car. On May 30th, at around 2 a.m., a truck ran off the road on the same stretch of Brazilian Highway 262, and a passenger lost his life. Dang. A TV news crew shows up to film the gory wreckage for the local news. But when they broadcast the footage, viewers quickly point out that the TV news cameras accidentally caught something else. Something truly bizarre. Ali na saída para Três Lagoas, esta caminhonete capotou e um idoso morreu na hora. Did you see it? The pale face of a young child seems to appear out of nowhere behind the mangled truck. What First the at the back, fuck? then quickly peeking through the front window. Now keep in mind this video was filmed at around 3 a.m. So why would a child be wandering the highway near a gory wrecked truck so late at night? Well, this is, this is where things get even stranger. Because two years before this crash, another local TV news station reported a wreck very similar to this one. On this exact same stretch of road, a truck that looked just like this one crashed in the same way. And in that wreck, an eight-year-old boy tragically lost his life. Wow. Dentro da caminhonete estavam wow. seis pessoas, entre elas uma criança de oito anos que morreu na hora. Wow. So is this the restless spirit of the boy who passed away in a very similar accident? And if not, just why is a child wandering through highway wreckage at 3 a.m.? Let me know what you think. This shit is crazy. Grilling thrift. Jesse from the YouTube this channel Thrift crazy. School records his trips to local thrift stores and then shows how it's possible to make some extra money by finding cheap secondhand products and reselling them online. One day he goes to the local Goodwill and films a new video. But when he uploads the footage to YouTube, his viewers are shocked. It seems that Jesse caught something very unexpected. Something downright creepy. And that's one good thing about doing this for so many years. I kind of know just by looking, right? I don't have to scan every single one of these things. Now, prices always fluctuate, so I always recommend scanning everything. And did you see it? When Jesse pulls out a shiny CD case to take a better look, the reflection of a smiling woman can be seen right behind him. Now, Jesse was all alone that day, and as he turns around, no one there. And there's video proof that Jesse was alone. As he enters the store, we see his lone reflection in the glass. But the really weird thing here is, when Jesse first pulls out the CD case, there's no one in the reflection. Whoever this woman is, she just suddenly appears and then disappears out of thin air. Jesse himself replied to the shock comments on his video and said that even he finds the creepy sudden appearance, quote, pretty scary. But what do you think? Did Jesse capture a ghost at the Goodwill? And why is she smiling? Bro, Let me know your thoughts bro. down this in the comments. Nuke is turning he turned it up. Puppies. He turned it up. In this Ten? very quick video from an unknown source, a dog seems to hear something inside a room and scratches at the door. It did not go well. Fuck, man. What the fuck? A strange white mist seems to float right through the door, and the dog wants no part of it. In this next clip, sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Anita Barella, a man says that he has seen and heard some strange paranormal things around his home. And now it seems like the ghost might be messing with his dog, too. Two, you get a multi-driver discount, you get a multi-car discount, and things like that. But, the insurance wouldn't be in your name. As the dog is chewing on its toy, something seems to rip the chew toy right out of its what? mouth and fling it across the room. What? Now, oh, I think we can all agree here. 
ghost haunting and terrifying humans, that's just good entertainment. But leave the doggos alone, ghosts. That's my statement. Anyway, the thing in the shed. Alexei Chiripanov from the YouTube channel Traverza lives in the remote countryside of Russia. After some odd experiences, Alexei believes that some strange person or thing might be living in the woods near his home. Late one night, he starts to hear strange noises, the sound of banging and movement from his shed outside. And he goes out there? He heads out to investigate, filming with his phone in hopes of capturing evidence. What the fuck? Something in my shed. One. He tripping. Oh no, Vlad, давай. Что ты там ломаешь? Bro, you tripping. Тварюга какая. What a a-hole. You tripping. Ты кто такой вообще? Yo. Посуди накидается, тварь такая. Alexei demands that whoever is in the shed leave, but the person or thing just angrily throws around objects in the shed while screaming in a strange yipping wail. But the intruder stays out of sight. Judging by the strange screeches, Alexei now begins to wonder if he might be dealing with some kind of strange creature. He looks into the shed's side window to get a better look, and his blood runs cold. Alexei sees someone or something peeking back at him from inside the shed. Something oh, the with glowing eyes. A person. But is Alexei's encounter real or just part of some elaborate ARG? You decide. That's a person, bro. You can watch Alexei's many encounters with this person or creature over on his YouTube channel, Traverza. Yeah, that's a person. Right? The Gen. This next video is a bit of a mystery as I've been unable to find the source. The video seems to be recorded by a CCTV camera situated in a mosque during prayer time. A dark figure suddenly runs across the room and disappears right through a wall. Some believe this mysterious apparition to be a djinn, a supernatural creature believed to be a spirit or demon. But what do you think? Off the rails. Late one night, Brazilian YouTuber Balian and his friends set out to explore a vacant and supposedly haunted train station. The railway depot has been abandoned for many years after a passing train violently derailed, taking the lives of many passengers on board. Mm. Locals say that late at night you can hear pleading voices and screams coming from the wreckage of the old train. Wow. The station is said to be cursed and visitors are warned to stay away. Balian and his friends split up to explore the area, and they each record their experience. Balian's friend and fellow YouTuber Isabella finds herself getting a little freaked out as she begins to hear unexplained noises coming from an abandoned house near the train station. What happens next chills her to the core. Tô voltando. Essa daqui é uma das casas, as primeiras que a gente entrou. Eu tô ouvindo algum barulho. Eu acho que eu vi alguma coisa. Valeu, eu acho que eu vi alguma coisa. Eu tô voltando. 
<laughs> Definitely was somebody in there. Someone or something walks past the window inside an abandoned house near the train wreck. Chilling, chilling too. Isabella runs in fear and tries to warn her friends. Meanwhile, team members Lucas and Hockeynim are exploring another area when they too experience something terrifying. A gente já veio aqui, a Isabela tá surtada. Certeza que ela tá surtada. This noise and stuff he be using in the background is crazy. The two explorers run back to the car and the group agrees that they should just all get out of there. So did they catch a real haunting at the abandoned train yard? Or is it all just an elaborate, elaborate hoax? hoax? You decide. You decide. Unholy. A few months ago, I featured a very creepy paranormal investigation shared by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. Together with his nephew Eli, Dell investigated a church in Chester, South Carolina that is over 200 years old. In the early 1900s, the church is believed to have been the site of dark ritualistic ceremonies. Dell and Eli captured some very strange and horrifying paranormal activity inside the church. There's a presence here, could you make yourself known? Dude. Hey, dude. Bro. Come on, just play the piano one more time for me. Did you used to play piano here? Now, the Signs and Signals team, David and Dell, haven't been very active on YouTube in a while. That is, until one night, the two friends happened to drive past that same church in Chester, South Carolina, and they noticed something very odd. They pull over and start to film. I got it, I got it. I don't know. Yeah, it's recording, it's recording. I don't know, for some reason, you see it? Yeah, it's a light. Is it a candle? I can't tell if it's a candle. I really don't want to get out. Dude, I, <laughs> how did they see that? Over there? It looks like it's a candle. Dude, let's, I don't want to get ain't out. Nobody's supposed to be here. There's no cars here. No. Uh, Why do they you care? Why do they care? Come on. I don't know. Dale, Dale. Dude, it's a candle. Oh snap. <laughs> oh God! Oh What the hell is that? No, 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 no. Dude. David and Dell see a lit candle at one of the church's windows, even though no one is supposed to be inside. Then suddenly they see a mysterious dark shape move quickly by the window. Now David and Dell decide to just get out of there, but they say they wonder if they accidentally caught some sort of dark ritual going on inside the empty church. Just like the strange ceremonies held there over 100 years ago. You can watch more paranormal investigations and terrifying experiences at the church over on David and Dell's YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Interference. This next video was sent to me by Nukes Top 5 viewer Adam Gamble. He says that the video was sent to him by a friend from work. Recently, the man's dog had developed a strange cough. So one night, as his wife is laying in bed watching TV, the dog begins to cough and she starts to record so she can show it to the veterinarian. What she ends up recording, however, takes her completely by surprise. Hell no. Whoa! 
an unexplained shadow darts from right to left, right in front of the TV. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be part of the TV show that she's watching, as it completely covers the main characters. The figure also seems to be crossing in front of the TV as it blacks out all light. Adam says that he hopes that someone might have an answer to just what this could be. So what do you think it is? And no worries, their dog is well and doing fine. Thanks for watching. All right, that was top 10 scary ghost videos that'll give you the bubble guts, man. He's starting to do top 10s? Come on, man. Top 10s? I, I, was, I was barely yet holding on to the top fives. Now he giving me 10? It was some of those in there that was suspect to me, but it was some of those in there that really cre creeped me out though, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we back with the news top five. If you made it to the end, I need you to drop real one. If you made it to the end of this one, I definitely need you to drop real one in the chat. But you already know what it is, man. Self-love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.